In these problems, we are solving equations involving complementary and supplementary angles. And remember, complementary angles uh, are angles that add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees. So in this first problem, they're telling us that the measure of angle 1 is x plus 12. So instead of a number, we're getting an expression, an algebraic expression. So I'm just going to jot that in there. And the measure of angle 2, they say, is equal to 5x. Now, they want us to find the measures of these angles. They want numbers for these things. To do this, we're going to have to find out what x is. We can do that by setting up an equation. And luckily, we have a number to set all this equal to because we know that these two angles add up to total 90 degrees. Here's our 90 degree little mark down here in the corner. So if I take x plus 12 and I add it to the other angle, which is 5x, I can set that equal to 90 degrees. And this equation, I can solve for x. So let me do that by combining the x terms first. So x plus 5x, that's 6x, plus 12 equals 90. And then I'll have to subtract 12 from both sides. So that's 6x equals 78. And we'll have to divide by 6 to solve for x here. And 78 divided by 6, is that 13? OK, so x equals 13. We're not done, though, because they don't want x as an answer. They want the angle measures. So we have to go back to the measures for angle 1 and 2. So the measure for angle 1 is x plus 12. Well, 13 plus 12 would be 25. So the measure of angle 1 is 25 degrees. And measure of angle 2 is 5 times x. So 5 times 13 is 65. So that is 65 degrees. Now, if we did this right, they should add up to 90 degrees. And yes, they do. All right. Let's try another one. This one, the angles are supplementary. You can see there's a straight line down on the bottom here. So these two angles are going to add up to 180 degrees. Angle 1 is 5x, and angle 2 is x minus 6. We're going to set up an equation in exactly the same way, except we're going to set it equal to 180 instead of 90. So 5x plus x minus 6 equals 180. All right, so we need to combine our x terms. So we'll get 6x again minus 6 equals 180. And we're going to add 6 to both sides. So 6x equals 186. I need to divide by 6 here. So 186 divided by 6. Uh, so x is 31. And then we've got to take this x value and plug it back into our expressions up here. So 31 times 5 is 155. So the measure of angle 1 is 155. And x minus 6, 31 minus 6, well, that would be 25. So the measure of angle 2 is 25. And yes, those two numbers do add up to 180. So that checks out. So that's a little bit of work with uh, equations in complementary and supplementary angles.